welcome to my channel. My name is Rebecca and today I'm going to show you uh, some of my, I guess, works in progress. Um, I have definitely come out of my comfort zone with sharing projects that I have not completed or even completed. Not that I've, I guess I haven't shown a whole lot on, on my channel, but um, I'm yeah, I'm a little funny about showing my projects, especially if they're not completed, but I figured that's a great way to share what I'm working on. It doesn't have to be completed. I don't have to show you the whole process and, and wait for it to be done just, you know, in order to show you guys. Um, also, I think it would be a great way to uh, add a little accountability on the projects I have because here's my stack of projects <laughs> so I figure if I show you guys then maybe I'll stay on task a little bit better because uh, I tend to jump from one project to the next without completing I'll go back but I don't necessarily finish or I'll start a bunch so yeah so I'm gonna um, show you projects I'm working on I, I do quilting and machine embroidery. I, I, I will be doing bag making at some point. I haven't started yet. I've got a couple projects in mind. I've got some patterns um, and fabric picked out for some bags, but I haven't done that yet. I wanna get my stack of quilting and embroidery projects down a little bit. Um, but um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the quilting projects first because I'm not sure how, video, how long this video is gonna take. Uh, and I'll try and I think I'm gonna try and do it monthly more often if it works for me and my schedule and um, uh, and I'm actually able to complete things within a week because I'm not always able to or or at least make some progress in a week um, but so what I'll this is gonna be up through May I, I only just started quilting and in, and doing machine embroidery in December. So I really haven't um, been doing this long. So um, I'm gonna do all the projects I've kind of started and I'm working on through May and then I'll do each month. So this will be up through May. So I'll start with the quilting ones first and then from there I, uh, I will do the machine embroidery one second just in case I have to um, do two separate videos because I don't want it to get too long. I tend to talk a lot and uh, maybe go into a little more detail than necessary. But um, I'll but yeah, quilting first and then embroidery second just in case I have to split the video. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so my first uh, biggest and most time consuming at the moment is the quilt I'm working on for my husband. I finished the quilt top and I'm in the process of quilting at the moment. Um, I have a video in the works kind of showing the process, but it's definitely my, my most time consuming right now. And um, yeah, uh, so I'll show you that first. It's about, mm, is it about a throw size or lap size? Uh, I have it, I do have it, um, you know, the, the top, the batting and the backing together and it's basted. Um, I have spray basting, the 505 spray, as well as um, a few pins in there. So this is the, the main pattern itself um didn't take as long selecting where I what which fabric I wanted to go where took me the longest once I decided that this came together pretty quickly the borders aren't actually in the pattern I added the borders myself um, so that took a little bit of extra time but it wasn't too bad so this is for him and I've already started a little bit of quilting on there. I'm not gonna get into detail on that. Oh, this thing is so big. 
Maybe it's a little bit bigger than the, maybe you can see a little bit of the quilting right there on that blue one, the blue square, the dark blue. It's pretty much the same stuff throughout, right? It's, I'm, I don't want to get super into this one right now because it's hard to show, but and then this is the backing. I think I may have shown that on a previous video, but that's the backing. Okay, on to the next. Okay, uh, this is my first ever quilt project. This is the one I learned, right? I used the Fat Quarter Shop. Um, and this is just with a bunch of scrap fabric I had. Uh, some, some, you know, not so high quality, some high quality, just whatever I had, things that I had left over from when I used to sew my daughter's um, doll clothes or if I made any other little simple projects throughout the years. So the Fat Quarter Shop has a class called the Ultimate Beginner Quilt Series, I think is what it's called. And um, it's a great, it's great, uh, great video series. It's on YouTube, it's free. And that's where I learned how to quilt. And it's basically a sampler quilt. And they have you go through. And the idea is each block gets progressively harder. Although this one here was the hardest. Matching up all the points and stuff. And I think it's nine. Yeah, nine blocks. I'm trying to fold it up so you can see the rest. So it's already quilted and the back is just, again, this is all scrap fabric I kind of had. I did not want to, I don't know, waste good fabric on learning, learning how to uh, quilt. And then the quilting is practicing, basically. This was just some practice stuff um, I did. I did a... Um, yeah, I mean, it was just practicing, really. So it just, it still needs to be bound. Um, I don't exactly consider this, you know, a masterpiece or anything, but it's my first one, so I do want to complete that. Okay, next. This one is um, from, see, I'm, I'm still standing up because these are bigger pieces, is from an actual class I took, a beginner quilting class. Um, I probably didn't need to take this one. I should have taken the, they had a, they have a part one and a part two. I signed up for the part one before I even learned anything. Um, but because I did the, the fat quarter shop thing, I probably did not need to take this class. I was a little bit bored, but I, the, I learned a few things, which is always great. Um, I should have signed up for the second one, but anyway, so this is using Riley Blake. The line might be something like kindness always or something. So this one I actually consider to be my first like real completed quilt. I think this is a, I think they said this was like a lap size. Anyway, it's square. Um, and this is for my daughter. So it, it's just the top, it needs to be quilted and bound. So the beginner quilt, the one with the crazy colors and the practice that I use as my practice quilt, I'll probably bind that before I bind my husband's quilt just to make sure, just to give myself more practice. Um, and then, then I'll bind that. And then the, the blue and um, pink one that was for my daughter, the one I said is my first real quilt. Um, I will do that soon too because that was a gift for her. She had been asking me for uh, a quilt for years. She had been asking me for years to make her a quilt. And I just kind of wasn't set up for that and I had not ever learned how to make a quilt. I knew I could, but um, but she's probably the main reason why I started quilting so that I can, when I finally had stuff set up and I was able to sew, I was like, you know, I want to get this quilt made for her. I need to learn how to quilt and make sure I'm doing things right. And 
yeah and it just opened up this world so thank you um, I have two kind of block of the month uh, oh no I guess three um, three block of the month one of them being the cotton cuts and I'll show you actually I'm not gonna show you the cotton cut stuff because I show you guys that every month um, although I still have the current month that I need to do but um, you can always watch my other videos on that for the cotton cuts but the other two I have not been doing any videos for um, this first block of the month it's they call it the five dollar quilt you literally pay five dollars to register um, and that's it as long as you show up at the store every month during the um, there's like two or three days that they do classes classes but they're she basically it's like 30 minutes of her going over the block talking about it and then you get some sort of special in the store just for being in the class month one this is only part of it so month one is done it's technically done month this is month one um, but it's I also signed up for they have a, a what do they call it advanced block meaning there's extra to it so this is the uh, okay this is what the advanced block is going to look like is this the one I couldn't finish there's one of them I couldn't continue because I cut something wrong and I had to wait for next the, this current month three now this is month one so I have part of that started so I have these right I have two of these so this is month one, then this is Tim Holtz fabric. Um, so that was month one, and then month two. Okay, so this is month two. So this is the actual block that they, they give you all the fabric for, you don't have to pay anything extra for. And then you pay extra for the advanced fabric uh, block and um, the, the instructions and the fabric. I kind of just threw stuff everywhere. Okay. <laughs> I was going crazy looking for these next month's patterns because I just had them. I literally got them three days ago and I, and I just, I just had them. And the problem is, is I, I try not to put them away. I try to keep them out and do them as soon as I get them because I will forget. I'll forget that I have a block of the month to do. Um, and at the end of the month, I'm like scrambling. Oh my gosh, I got to get this done. <laughs> anyway, found it. So month two um, looks like this. Okay, so there's month two. And I have... I've, I have all these put together I have this put together minus the borders on there um, I think I just but it's when I was doing this I just kind of ran out of energy I was frustrated because I miscut for the other one and I had to wait and so anyway so I just got uh, so here's the main big block part and then the little mini block and the other pieces so I need to attach those and my little um, borders for the big block and as you can see I've got some spillage well as you can't see there it is some spillage from my iron on there that's not supposed to be there but guess what it's Tim Holtz fabric. It looks like it belongs. So it's okay. <laughs> I'm okay with it. So that just needs to all get put together. And then I have um, block three, which I just got. So, or month three, block three, is this. So that's the main block that you don't have to pay any extra for just your five dollars covers it right there 
and I got the extra so that's the main block and then I'll have to do that so I'll have to work on that before um, July and also whatever extras I have I need to use for I mess up block one um, some stuff on there got that one out of the way okay and then the second block of the month that I have is so that first block I'm doing through so special quilts so special quilts in San Antonio and they have one in in Katy Texas as well uh, so special quilts the second one I'm doing through Poppy Quilt and Sew that's my more local quilt shop because I live in the Austin area and Poppy Quilt and Sew is in Georgetown Texas which is a lot closer to me than San Antonio so I'm doing this block of the month which I guess is something that is happening at lots of places Glimmer and Gleam by Sarah J using a grunge basics collection by Moda so that's what it's going to be and it's huge 84 by 96 and we are on month Four, I believe. Let me see. Um, yeah, I did three, and I just picked up four. As long as you put bring your blocks in before the end of the month, you don't get charged extra. So I have to bring in my month four blocks before the end of June. Now this one I put away because I have a lot of fabric for it. It's not just like they gave me all of the background fabric at once, and then. <clears throat> there's quite a few blocks you got to put together every month it's not like that first one I showed you where it's just the one block you have several pieces to put together so I tend to put it to the side because there's just too much and I tend to forget about it <laughs> so uh, that's the one that I I'll be scrambling for so I got a ton of these so four with these colors four here Four here, four here. There's four of each of these. I believe these, so I just did month three. Month three ones that I had to do, I had to do a lot for month three as well. I decided to use my quilter's grid on because I find it to be a lot easier and quicker to do these. They come out better. Obviously, they're a little stiffer. You know, there's a, and you know, if I hold, see, these are floppy. These aren't going anywhere. <laughs> Part of that's because of the type of grid I use. This is the Pellon. Um, if you find a different brand, there are other brands that are thinner, but I went with price. So yeah, and I, I just, I needed it to be quick and easy and frustration free. And that quilter's grid is just amazing. So four of each of those colors. That See, that's a lot. I'm only on three months. <laughs> I've only done three months and so far I've had to do all those. This is a serious block of the month. Let me tell you, because it's not block of the month. It's mini project of the month. Okay, I've got a couple of these. Again, I used my quilter's grid. It's just so much easier to put together that way. Some of them I didn't cut down yet. I just kind of threw them in there. It's a lot, especially for a beginner quilter. It's definitely a lot. And I had to make these and I used my that white stuff there is the quilter's grid. If you don't know what that is, check my um, my cotton cuts videos, my my gnome of the month videos. I I use it in there, and I explain what it is. And the rest of them are regular blocks, so there's no quilter's grid. So it's very colorful. I love how bright it is, and I you could choo choose the black background or a white background, and I chose black. It just stood out more to me. 
And these are, I think, all eight and a half inch blocks. Yeah, are those eight? Yeah, those are eight. Eight and a half inch blocks. Okay, that was the first one. Okay. You know, if you're not doing anything else and you're a beginner, it, it's not super difficult, right? But I've got a lot of projects going on. So it definitely pushes me. These are like 20, 20 and a half inch blocks, I believe. Something like that. So these are three months worth of blocks. And so each month I'll show you There'll be less to show you at one time, but, um, but yeah. And here's the last and the largest. Let me show you the bag I'm keeping it in. I love this bag. And I got it specifically. When I saw this, I was like, oh, this is, I need this for my blocks. This tulip pink. Tons of static on it, and it zips this way. That's where I'm keeping my blocks. Okay. Next. Okay, so then I have the I have my gnome of the month, right? This is the February girl gnome of the month, and I did a video on this showing you how I put it together and all that. I need to. Um, get some actually yeah I need to put the rest together because I only did one um, I have three more I need to put together and I think I'm gonna make it like a wall hanging and then I need to quilt it and bind it and the same thing with the March this is the I have a video on this as well this is the March boy and um, I need to put the other three together so the girl and the two accents that come with it and I'm going to make a, a wall hanging out of this as well. I might, yeah, 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 I think I'm going to make a wall hanging. I thought about maybe doing a, um, like a table topper or something, but because uh, it's just cute, I really love the colors, but probably just a wall hanging. Anyway, same thing, quilting and binding. I will not get this quilted and bound by next month, that's for sure. But hopefully I can get some of the other uh, gnomes done the gnomes and the accent pieces. Then there's my cotton cuts block of the month, which is the puzzle mystery quilt, marigold, that I have videos on that. Um, and I believe that's all I can show you. I have a couple other projects in the works that I can't show because they're gifts, but that's what I can show you. Oh, no, one more, one more that I can show. This is uh, for a pillow I'm making. And this was, so this is partial embroidery, but it's also quilting. So I cut these, this is cork, and this is regular cotton or batik fabrics. This part's embroidered, just the shell, and the rest is, oh, uh, this was, I used, so I stuck these down, it's like collage, but the outside was embroidered, I was using the, an embroidery pattern. So it just needs to be, and this is some batting on here, it needs to be quilted. I'm going to do um, just some, I forgot what it's called when you're following the pattern, but then I'm going to do some echo quilting around the, the turtle. So I have that to do. And that's all for my quilting stuff. Oh, this is going to be the back of the pillow. This was a fabric I got. At the craft thrift, I believe it was a 108. I realized I didn't actually have very many large pieces of fabric, except for 108s, that weren't already, this is not really showing up the best color. But if you saw one of my other craft haul videos, you, see, you saw this, this is a good color. That's a good shot right there. Anyway, that's gonna, I needed two of those. That's gonna go on the back of the pillow. So this was 108 fabric and I realized 
most of the fabric I have is already um, is already earmarked for projects, so I didn't have any just fabric hanging around. And I was trying to use as many scraps as possible for um, that pillow. The only thing I bought was the cork fabric, but I've had that because I've, I've had cork fabric because I wanted to, uh, I'm gonna use it in a, in a bag when I get to making a bag eventually. Okay, so that's all my quilting projects. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to let you know when I make another video. And so part two with embroidery will be coming up. Uh, hopefully I'll post that tomorrow. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.